Hi again then guys and welcome to the tutorial video to go hand in hand with of course the special new announcement that I made earlier on today. Now if you have no idea what I'm talking about you should check out that video first. It's kind of important of course for doing this and click the first link below in the description to see that. But if you're already caught up you know what we're talking about. This is how to enter, how to submit yourself for the community spotlight in GT Sport. So there's a number of steps involved and the first time you do this, it could seem complicated. There's a lot of individual steps to go through, but trust me, once you do it a couple of times, it is the easiest thing in the world. So if you're already familiar with how to enter the livery competition and you've already done so here on the channel, you pretty much know most of what I'm going to say. So you could skip some parts on a little bit. But if you're completely unfamiliar, then please do it this way. If you attempt to submit yourself for the series in any other way, such as a PlayStation message, message even, or a, a wrong email, or a message on anything but this method, you will not be featured. It's as simple as that. So... Step one is, of course, do something cool in Gran Turismo. Could be a great lap time, could be a cool race, could be an endurance race, could be a, an amazing lobby, could be tandem drifting with your friends, drifting on your own, could be a rally race, whatever you want. First of all, show your skill. Make that video. Or it could be a video, of course, that you've already done way back and saved. Now, the next step is, of course, to go to the race menu that you can see here, and then go to the top left. Click on Replay, and then click Save replay. Once you confirm that, it will then be permanently in your library. Now the next thing you need to do is go back to the main menu of the game and click here on my library. Once you're in the library, scroll down to replays and you'll see all of them saved here. Then what you want to do is go to the replay that you want to submit for the series here on the channel. Which, for example, for me, let's just say, was the Goodwood footage of the Cobra. So scroll over to that one, then click on that video, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, press triangle to get the menu. Now once you do that, it brings up the option to upload it to the community, or to share it, in other words. Then you have this little menu, add the tags, you can give it a title, you can give it a comment if you want to. Do whatever you want there, that doesn't matter at all. So, once you've done that and clicked OK, it will then upload that to your community page. That's all very simple stuff, the vast majority of you will have done that before. From this point on, however, this is where it changes a little bit, because what I need you to do now, once you've got to this stage, is then go on to a browser. Now, of course, don't do this in the game itself, do this from your smartphone, do it from your laptop, do it from a, a PC, whatever the case may be, but go onto a browser, Google for instance, and type GT Sport Community into the search bar. When it comes up, click on the top result, which you can see here, and that will bring you to this familiar page. Now, unless you have it on remembering your details, you will have to log in. Then once you do log in, this is the page that you'll see. It's pretty familiar, similar to Gran Turismo itself. The next thing you need to do is click here on My Profile. That then brings up this very familiar menu of your overview. Next step is to click on this icon, My Gallery. And once you get to this point, you're off to the races. You'll probably recognize this as being very similar to in GT Sport itself. It gives you that list of all your public stuff that is shared on your community page. Now, if you enter a replay that you did, for instance, today, then of course it will be right at the top of the list. However, in my case, for instance, with the Daytona Cobra as an example, you want to scroll down to where it is. You can see it here. And this is crucial. A lot of people do not do this correctly in the livery competition already. And if you do it wrong, you're simply not eligible. It's as simple as that. So make sure you do this correctly. Click on the replay. Do not send me the URL address of the current page. I need you specifically to click on the exact replay that you want to send and you will get this screen. It brings it up, you cannot watch the replay, but it shows that that is the replay that you've highlighted. Then at the top of the screen you can see that that specific replay has a specific URL address. So what I need you to do now is copy that URL address into an email. Then send that email along with a title, you know, like GT Sport Community Spotlight as the topic, for instance, and send it to this email address, which of course is the same email that I use for the photo mode and for the livery competition. But on the point of those competitions, I would ask you, please do not put your replays in with emails for the livery and photo mode entries because 
it's simply harder to sift through them. So do not feature them in the same email. If you want to submit a replay, do it in a single standalone email, because otherwise you could very easily just get lost and not featured at all. So it really is for your own benefit if you do it that way. Once you've sent it off to me, make sure it's the right email address, of course, make that title nice and specific to the GT Sport Spotlight, and then send that URL to me. And that is all you need to do. From then on, I will go into the game, capture your replay, edit it, make it into a fancier video, give it, of course, a snappy thumbnail, a good title, and upload it here to the channel. And you will forever be immortalized as a part of HSG. You will be a part of this channel, and of course, permanently featured in the GT Sport Community Spotlight playlist. And that's all there is to it. So if you follow these steps, that is exactly how you can enter. And I would also ask you to be patient, because if a lot of people enter, I can by no means guarantee when your video will be featured. It almost certainly won't be the same day eventually. I mean, even to begin with, I might get a lot of videos entered, so don't get exasperated if you don't see your video featured. And again, I must stress, please do not send the same replay twice. If you get featured, obviously don't send it again, but if you send it in and you don't see me upload it, maybe even you see somebody else's uploaded before yours, do not send it again, because it means there's a backlog and sending it twice does not increase your chances. In fact, if I'm honest, it kind of decreases your chances because it gets annoying. So send it in once and then just trust me and wait for it. If it was a good replay, I will upload it at some point, but doubtless there will be a backlog. So just bear with me there. Overall then, that's how to enter. And as I said, it seems complicated the first time you do it, but once you do it a couple of times, it's dead easy. So I look forward to seeing your submissions. I hope you're excited once again for this new series. And as of today, you can begin entering them in. So get to it. Show me your skills, and then I will do the job of showing the rest of the world your skills. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.